Alright, good morning. Now let us start with our three phase circuit. There are two types of three phase circuit. One is called the star circuit, the other is called the delta circuit. Now before we can learn the circuit, we must recall our revision uh, from the last video, which is about the two sequence three phase. Alright? One is called the ABC sequence. If you can recall this ABC sequence, you really have to be able to reproduce this phase diagram on your own with the phase angle, right? So it's ABC, so it's A, B, A, N, B, B, N, B, C, N, A, B, C. Right? These are the short one, we call them the phase voltage. Then we have the long one, B, A, B, 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 C, and B, C, A. Now how to remember it's like that. A, B, B, C, C, A. Right? Go into a cycle. And the angle between the line voltage, the long one, versus the phase voltage is 30 degree. So this is zero, so here's 30 degree. And here's minus 1, 2, oh, so here's minus 90. Here's 1, 2, oh, so here's 1, 5, oh. Alright, so that's called the ABC sequence. And when it's ACB sequence, this phase diagram, they look exactly the same, except the numbering is different now. Right, so we have ACB. Right, and the long one is AC, CB, BA. So AC, CB, and BA. Go clockwise man. And the angle, here is 0 degree, here is 30 degree, here is minus 90, minus 120, 120, and 150. So it's good for you to have these two phases that are side by side. So when you do your tutorial questions or test question or exam question, you can refer to the angle easily. Right? So let's talk about the star circuit. Now, a star circuit is also often called four wire circuit. Right? You understand that because in the circuit you see four wires. Now it looks like a star, a Y shape rather. Right, it has four wires. So we have three, three lines, so called A, B, C. Right, and then this is the neutral wire. So that's why it's called four wires. Uh, star circuit. Now, often the question will say that this is a 400 volt, three phase, A, B, C sequence. And then BAN as reference, right? And then you'll be asked to calculate the line current IA, IB, and IC, right? Okay, now IA means this is a current called IA outside, outside the, the phase, so it's called the line current. And this is IB, and this is IC, right? Now the current that's flowing inside, we call them the phase current. So it's A to N, from A to N, the neutral, uh, the neutral. And here is IC, N, from C to N, IC, N. This B to N, so it's called IBN. Alright? Now, this is called 400 volt. 400 volt is always line voltage. Now, if you remember line voltage, it's the long one, it's VAB, they must be two alphabets. So it's A and B. So here, is 400 volt, 400 volt. Okay. Now here, the voltage here, VAN, VAN, is a smaller voltage than this 400, right? Pictorially, you can see why it's a longer arrow, it's a shorter one. And the magical number to get this voltage is to divide by square root 3. So it's 400 divided by square root 3. So VAN. So this is your 400 divided by square root 3. This is your 400. Right? Likewise, this is a 400 volt, this is a 400 divided by square root 3. 400 volt, 400 divided by square root 3. Line voltage is the voltage between two lines. And phase voltage is between the line and the neutral. Okay? Alright, so let's, let's do our mathematics. Saying that the load is a balanced load. Balanced load or balanced circuit means that the three loads are identical. So this is 3 plus J4 ohm. This is 3 plus J4 ohm. And this is 3 plus J4 ohm. So this is a balanced circuit because the impedance are the same for the three phase. Right? So let's do our mathematics. So now I'm going to do to calculate IAN. Now you notice that IAN is the same as IA, right? It's the same color. Yeah. So IAN is the same as IA. Right? So it's therefore VAN divided by my impedance. Voltage VAN divided by my impedance. What's my VAN? My VAN is 400 divided by square root 3. Remember the shorter one? And what is the angle? I will refer to the phasor diagram. 
So VA and here is 0 degree. Right? So come back here and divide by 3 plus J4. So if you do your complex number mathematics, polar number divided by polar number, have to convert this to polar and get the answer. Right? Then IBN is the same as IB. So it's 400 divided by square root 3. What is the angle? And how to get the angle? Remember, we have to go back and refer to our phase diagram. So VPN is minus 120 degree. Right? So we come back and we substitute the minus 120 degree. So then we get the answer. To find ICN, which is the same as IC, so it's 400 divided by square root 3. Of course, if, uh, let me write in English word for you. So that is VCN divided by Z, right? So that is 400 divided by square root 3. And what is the angle? You go back to the face of the angle, yeah? VCN. And VCN is 120 degree, right? So put it into 150 degree. So with that, I've calculated the three current, IAN, IBN, and ICN. Now, if I were to write my arrow here, this is called the neutral current. Can you see? IAN coming in, ICN coming in, IBN coming in, and flowing up to IN. So therefore, neutral current is equal to IAN plus IBN plus ICN. Right? Now, you'll find that the answer when you add it up in this mathematics here, it will be equal to zero. Right? This will be equal to zero ampere when it is balanced, when the circuit is balanced. Balance. When the circuit is not balanced, when I say it's not balanced means, let's say the impedance here is 3 plus J4, here is 6 plus J8, and here is 9 plus J12 ohm. Now the three impedances are different, then it's not a balanced load anymore. When you add it up, this will not be equal to 0 ampere anymore. Now when it's not balanced, it will not be equal to 0. It can be proven if you do your mathematics. Okay? So that is a star circuit. Star circuit. Okay? Come, let's have a quick revision of this star circuit. The star circuit is called balanced when the impedance are all the same. Okay? And when you say 400 volt is the line voltage, that is the long arrow here. So this is 400 volt. The short arrow is called the phase voltage, it's 400 divided by square root 3. So here is 400, so here is 400 square root 3. The voltage here is 400 divided by square root 3, here is 400 divided by square root 3. So to find the current, you take this voltage divided by the impedance. But because it's three phase, you must look out for the angle. Where do you get the angle? From the phase of the angle. Right? So let's try another question. Instead of ABC sequence now, I say ACB sequence. Alright? And I use VAN as reference. So I ask you the same thing to do the same thing. Your mathematics is the same. But the phaser diagram now you're referring, refer to use to use should not be that phaser diagram anymore, but should be this phaser diagram, the ACB sequence. Right? So let's see. VAN is still zero degree, so no problem. VBN. VBN is here. So it's 120. So instead of minus 120, now it's 120. Right? And VCN is, VCN is minus 120. So just now it was 120, so now it's minus 120. Got it? So you, the angle, where do you get the angle? Please get it from the phase of diagram. Let's try another example. It's still ACB sequence, but this time I don't want VAN as a reference, and I want VAC as a reference. So ACB sequence, I will refer to this phase of diagram. And the question says VAC as a reference means I want this to be a reference. How to make this as a reference? Here becomes 0 degree, minus 30, here become minus 30, here become minus 120, here become minus 150, everywhere you go at minus 30. Here become 90, here become 120. Then we come and do our mathematics here. We come and do our mathematics here. So my VAN now is minus 30 degree. Minus 30 degree. Alright? And my BB, uh, BBN is 90 degree. Alright? And then BCN is equal to minus 150. Method is the same. It's the angle that must, must be changed. 
So then when you do your tutorial question or your test question, make sure you read the question whether it's ABC sequence or ACB sequence and who is the reference. Right? And this is called the star circuit. Now, star circuit, another thing that students are a little bit confused is the way that we draw the star circuit. Now, star circuit, to draw it like that pictorially, is easy for you to see, but actually often, we also can draw it like this. So this A, B, and C, and then this N. Can you see? So this is also a star circuit. Right? If you bend, uh, so-called bend the, the, the wires accordingly, you form the Y shape also. Right? So this is the star circuit. So VAB is 400 volt. How about VAN? Smaller one is 400 divided by square root 3 volts. Right? So that is star circuit. Another question that students often confuse is the terminology of the capital E and the small b. Right? Capital E and a small small b, right? Now basically, this capital uh, E and a small b basically means this is the source and this is the load, right? Uh, if I were to draw it here, because this question here, I only draw you the load, right? So now if I were to draw you the source, okay, I draw you the source, so it will, this will be the source. This is the source. Right, so here, if I were to draw, call this voltage is the source, so I'll use the capital E. E A M. In this case, A, right? Here's my N. Okay, and to draw the between the A, this is the B. So here will be capital E A D B. Right? And then on the load side, is A and N, then I use a capital B, B A N. Right? If I want to show you the voltage between the two lines, then I'll say this B A. Right? This is on the load side and this is on the source side. The numbers are the same. So here is 400 divided by square root 3, here's 400, here's 400, here's 400 divided by square root 3. Okay? Uh, I hope with that uh, you are clearer. So when you read the three phase question, be careful of the sequence, be careful of who is the reference and you do your mathematics accordingly. Alright?